Hey, you got camera therapy with Mark Uccello Photography. I'm Mark. I'm on location. I'm in Somerset, Pennsylvania. Look at this creek behind me. I'm going to show you a couple tips on streams and little waterfalls today. So we've already set up our camera equipment. I'm shooting my Nikon D5. A lot of times people end up using neutral density filters or these big square filters and all that, and they're great to use. I use them. But we've got an overcast day today. I want to keep this low tech and that you can get these beautiful pictures without these really, really, really expensive screw on uh, filter systems and all that. The fact that it's an overcast day makes it perfect. Uh, it was raining earlier today. We get some drips coming down now and then. Got some great rain from last night. So here it is. So we're going to do our setup. Uh, got my camera using a tripod. Believe it or not, we go over tripods. There's a right way and a wrong way to use a tripod, believe it or not. The, I don't know if you can see, the one leg here is pointing in the direction of where my camera is. It actually stabilizes the camera so it doesn't fall over, so the tripod doesn't fall over. So if you're using a tripod, I actually have a piece of tape on the front of this just to remind me that's the leg to go out forward, and then the two other legs come down. It just makes it a better stability of the, of the camera here. So what we're going to do, we got uh, set up the camera. Uh, I'm going to shoot about, I think it's, uh, let me look, one-sixth of a second. And I'm shooting a real high f-stop, like f-20. And my ISO is at 100. So it's going to be just a little longer exposure. We're going to throw a little kicker into it, something a little different. A lot of people do or don't do. I'm going to show, I'm going to put a strobe out on, on there to fill some of this greenery in front of me here. So. We're all set up. I've got a timer set up on my camera, so I just press a button, and then I don't have to hold the camera or anything like that. It makes my life a little bit easier. So maybe instead of getting one of those push button ones, use the self timer. That's what I do. It's always with me. So I always like to hang on to my strobe a little bit because it is on an odd angle. So again, here it is. Just shooting a 24 to 70 millimeter lens. I've got it on 24 millimeter one sixth of a second iso's at 100 and i've jacked up the uh f-stop f22 so it's got a small miniature ho hole there and i'm going to leave my strobe on ttl why 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 complicate you always shoot manual on my strobe but i'm not going to complicate it today so i've got my camera my strobe I like it. Let me show you what I did. Maybe you didn't notice this. This camera actually has a shade that comes down in the back. If you don't have that on your system, I usually put my thumb or my hand over it. That way you don't get this backwash light maybe coming in and you'll pick up a, uh, a little bit of a hot spot on your camera. Simply put your hand over it, your thumb. I'm digging that. I'm really digging that. So, like everything I have, I a way of just mounting everything so I can get to everything. So again, you know, we're not using any type of really fancy filters, neutral density filters, gray filters, it's got a cr cloudy day. Before you start investing some money in that, try your own system out. This could be an expensive camera, it could be one you buy uh, over the counter. These, those cameras will do it. High F number, you're looking for a longer exposure and you, you mess with it. Start, you know, you, you, you're not going to know until you practice with it. Is it one sixth of a second? Is it five seconds? I don't know. You start putting on lots of different filters and then you have to leave a longer exposure and you get that silkiness coming across. But I think we just did just, just fine on a camera that you probably already own. Plus I taught you something to what to do with your tripod. Put the leg out front so it doesn't fall over. And that's it. So hey, this is Camera Therapy with Mark Shelley Photography. I'm the Mark. Enjoy. Have a great day. I'm back to work in here. So everyone take care now.